Here I have uh, three pieces of uh, pure nickel strip. It was tested in salt water. Let's try the lowest, so, so to speak, gear. Um, not sanded on not sanded. 0 0.1 millimeters. Okay, same but now for scratched on scratched, sanded on sanded, with gear 1. Okay, um, now let's cut the 0 0.2 and let me cut the 0 0.15 and continue with the 0 0.15 scratched on scratched this is unsanded on unsanded 0 0.1 that's a firm weld that's very good but the 0 0.20 can conduct twice as much electricity as the 0 0.1. So that's a reason to choose a thicker one. This one is good. Sand it on sand it, 0 0.1. That is also very good. Now unsanded 0 0.15 on unsanded that's too light twice it is in highest gear now so that's okay um, confirm good now 0 0.15 highest gear polished on polished This feels better. Good. This is the 0 0.15 sanded. Good. Oops, uh, that's not too good. Not good at all. Hey, polish this better, but not impressive. 0 0.20 polished. 0 0.20. <laughs> okay, then. If you want really good wells, use 0 0.10. That's the only conclusion I can pull despite all my efforts to improve <laughs> my mini spot welder uh, if you want a, a better spot welder that welds 0 0.15 more or better than buy a heavier welder a K weld or maybe a Keymoon 5000 something like that I uh, dismantled uh, an LG lithium-ion battery to check the thickness of uh, this metal. This is the negative part from here to there. And this is the positive part. 
these batteries are completely dead, zero volt. So I uh, opened one and uh, this is uh, 0.1 only. The bottom part also 0.1 only. So there is, there is a reason to be careful. I punctured by spot welding several times a battery.